love that song. And since we owe our veterans, well, pretty much everything. When it comes to home loans, they get some well-deserved financial perks. Today we're talking about VA loans. First, a quick overview of what they are, then who qualifies, a quick download on refinancing them, and of course, a guide on how to apply. VA loans are loans with special financial terms. The idea is to give military members a better deal than the average civilian. These loans are guaranteed, but not directly provided by the Department of Veterans Affairs. The VA doesn't manage the loan. Those details are still left to credit unions, local banks, and other lending companies like Rocket Mortgage. But if the borrower defaults, the VA makes sure those lenders get paid back. The guarantee is how lenders are okay with giving those perks out. VA loans are considered non-conforming loans, but that's not a bad thing. In this case, it's the opposite. VA loans are great. You'll probably need to pay a VA funding fee, but you get better purchase and refinancing options. You never have to pay mortgage insurance, which is like a minimum of $100 a month. You pay less at closing and interest rates are lower than conventional mortgages. Pretty cool. You can even get a loan for $0 down and your DTI or debt to income ratio can be higher, up to 60% in some cases and the minimum credit score at Rocket Mortgage, it's only 580. If none of that made sense, it's okay. Check out our video on DTI to get caught up. There are some other additional perks for disabled vets worth knowing about. Disabled veterans don't have to pay the VA funding fee, which is a sort of closing cost, and they can skip property taxes in certain states, and they get special housing adaptation grants. That's money that can be used for some accessibility-friendly modifications. Check in with your local VA office for more info on those grants. Okay, now that you know the perks and that I'm a huge fan of them, let's talk about who is eligible. Broadly speaking, active service members, veterans, and surviving spouses are all eligible for VA loans, but there are some restrictions. In order to qualify, you'll have to have done one of the following. Served 181 days of active service during peacetime, or served 90 consecutive days of active service during wartime, or served more than six years with the National Guard or reserves, or 90 days under the Title 32, with at least 30 of those days being consecutive. If you're not a service member, but were married to one who lost their life in the line of duty and haven't remarried, you may still be eligible for a VA loan. There are exceptions, so I'd ask your local VA office if you qualify. Assuming you meet any of the above criteria, then you'll just need the income, assets, credit score, and property you wanna buy. But like I said, approval is much easier than with other loans, and that's the point. The VA doesn't set any credit score restrictions. Those change by lender. But VA loans generally give you a bit more wiggle room. For example, if you have a credit score of 580 or above, you're credit ready for a Rocket Mortgage VA loan. The VA doesn't limit how much you can borrow, except in the case of impacted entitlement. But when the loan limits do apply to a VA loan, they're usually based on conventional loan limits, which change yearly. Certain high cost areas have higher limits. If you need a loan higher than that amount, you may be able to look into a VA jumbo loan, which doesn't require a down payment and may offer a lower rate than regular jumbo loans. There's a few more things you need to know. First, check with your lender to see if they finance the type of property and loan that you choose. The VA also requires you to live in the home within 60 days after you buy it, and they must be used for a primary residence. And lastly, whatever property you buy must also meet the VA's minimum property requirements, or NPRs. These are just slightly more intense inspection and appraisal requirements. They change based on where you live, but include having good mechanical systems, a decent roof, dry crawl spaces, and a list of other things. Don't worry about it too much. Your lender will request an appraisal where these NPRs will be evaluated. First up, the standard VA loan. It's pretty much the same as a conventional loan, just with better terms. They can be adjustable or fixed rate, and you'll discuss everything with your lender. And don't forget about renovation loans, great ways to finance home improvements at lower interest rates. The only hiccup with this loan type is that not all lenders offer them. You'll have to spend some more time shopping around. 
If you currently own a home, the VA also has refinance options. A VA cash out refinance loan lets you take up to 100% of your home's equity out to pay for medical bills, family debt, education, and other opportunities to reach your financial goals. In other words, you can borrow more than you owe on your mortgage and pocket the difference. A VA Earl or VA Streamline Refinance can help you pay less each month on an existing home loan by lowering your interest rate or helping you switch from an adjustable rate to a fixed rate mortgage. Plus, you don't need any equity to refinance your VA loan. In fact, with a VA Streamline loan, you can refinance up to 120% of your home's value to change your terms or lower your rate. This means you can refinance even if you owe more on your home than it's worth. A little hard to wrap your head around, but very useful in the right situations. So now you know who is eligible and what you might be eligible for. But how about applying? It's simple. Applying for a VA loan isn't that different from getting a typical mortgage. However, you'll need a certificate of eligibility first. This is just proving you qualify for a VA loan. As you shop around, talk to your possible lenders early on about getting your COE. You can get yours in advance online. It's as simple as filling out a form and submitting it on the VA site. We've included a link to the VA's page on the COEs in the description. Like any home buying experience, you'll want to get pre-approved as early as possible because it lets you know how much you can afford. There's no point in looking at $400,000 houses if you can only borrow $300,000, right? Sellers also take offers from pre-approved people way more seriously. Once you're approved, as long as you stay in your budget, it's time to shop around the best part. Let me know if you need any help. I love spending my entire day at work looking at rocket homes. I call it research. Once you find a home you like in your price range, put in an offer. Once you and the seller agree on a price, a real estate agent or attorney can help draw up a sales contract. After an offer has been settled, underwriters check out your finances to make sure everything is up to snuff. Then, the VA will require an appraisal before approval. Once the VA appraiser says your new home is safe and sound, it's time for you to sign on the dotted line. Secure your loan and get your hands on the keys to your new dream home. Hooray! Remember, if you've served, you deserve a VA loan. There's no good reason not to take advantage of them if you're eligible. That's it. We've also included direct links to every loan type on the VA site for more information. And if you're ready to get pre-approved so you can see what your options are, head to the links in the description. Thanks for checking us out. If you'd like to see more videos just like this one, you know what you can do? Click right here. And as always, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.